All right, Tim. So, thank you. You're gonna oh. take us through this beast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so this is a uh, 1966 uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Uh, at one point, it had a big old V8 in it. No longer. So right now, uh, we have uh, three net gain Hyper 9s that are all um, mounted together and then uh, terminate in the output of a torque box. I believe right now it's a two to one, but we have put a three to one there in the past. Okay. And then that just kicks out uh, to your rear diff. So all the motors, we'll pop the hood here in a second, um, just pretty much run kind of down the trans tunnel. And then after a two piece drive shaft, uh, it has a 55 kilowatt um, hour or hour battery system. Uh, it's custom made by us, uses NMC cells. It uh, gives this vehicle about 100, 100 so uh, miles of range there. Um, what else? I guess let's let's go ahead and pop the hood and kind of look into it. It's a beautiful car though. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's on air? It's on air too, yeah. So, um, I don't know if it's all the way squatted out. We can actually, what's kind of cool is we can actually get it lower than most gas cars on air because yeah. there's less stuff uh, underneath um, as well. So. Cool. cool. So this is some amazing craftsmanship right here. Yeah, absolutely. So we um, we did a lot of the EV work. I believe the, the craftsmanship here is courtesy of a uh, classic corner garage up in Mesa. So they uh, did a little bit of finishing work for us there. Um, you know, if all this stuff wasn't here, you'd see a battery box, you'd see three motors, inverters, controllers, and pumps. Okay, um, so most everything is in the front. Yeah, exactly. So uh, most all the motor side stuff is here in the front. Um, there is a battery pack and two chargers uh, in the rear, okay. um, in the boot there. But um, yeah, it's all all hidden underneath. So I see there's uh, power steering fluid. Yeah, so exactly. That's probably actually pretty helpful. Oh, especially on a vehicle on a boat like this. Yeah, hundred yeah, <laughs> percent. Um, so. Yeah, I believe we completed the build and then came back after the fact and did the cover and some finishing work. Uh, so if we go around here to the back, still plenty of space for your for your things, your golf clubs, or golf whatever clubs. the case might be. Yeah. Um, but here we can actually see some EV components. Uh, these are two two chargers. Here it gives us a charging speed of uh, or power of six kilowatts. Uh, so you're looking okay. about eight to ten hours to charge up. Um, this particular battery pack. Um, but that's from dead zero. Right, that's from full dead, charge. Right, correct. You probably wouldn't end up doing that anyway in yeah. the real world. Right, and yeah, this, I mean, the intended use of this is date night or to go, you know, do the car show thing. So yeah. it'll be like a highway cruiser as it is. Um, and then we can also, here's a display that's currently not on, but if it was charged, the vehicle is on, that's where you'd see that. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Uh, I believe that's just uh, it's looking like a battery disconnect. So just battery a way disconnect. to disconnect the 12 volt system mm -hmm. um, for long term storage. So you're not you don't have uh, like a parasitic draw on that. Um, Is that also what would be used for like uh, safety? You know, I would have to figure out where the high voltage battery disconnect is, is in here. Um, but that would, you know, that would disable the vehicle, but it wouldn't necessarily can disconnect the high, voltage the high voltage from the distribution point. So with most everything in the front, then uh, help me envision what we have. You have a tri-mold motor, mm -hmm. Hyper 9 coming back, yeah. and then there's drive shafts going into yeah. the stock rear diff, or is that yeah, aftermarket? So, yeah, so if we can, you know, use our imagination here, 
The first motor is here, so we have one, two, three motors. They're okay. all coupled together. Uh, and then on the output of those three motors is uh, a torque box. You're looking at you know 1,100 to 1,200 foot pounds of torque. Um, you know at the rear diff when when you want it. That's and a lot. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> that should do it. Yeah, these motor controllers you can have separate tunes on them too. So we typically are setting it up so you have like three different tunes depending on you know whatever your intended use is. Okay. In our case, it's a you know a cruise tune or one of the trailer tune and. Uh, you know, blow through your tire budget. Too. Okay, nice. Awesome. Well, thanks for the walkthrough. This yeah, is absolutely. a beautiful car, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it in its next iteration and seeing it back on the road. Yeah, absolutely. We are too. Right on. Thanks, Tim. Mm -hmm.